Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we are talking Kringle candles today and um, if you missed it a little bit earlier, I uploaded my thoughts on the Country Candle Blue Raspberry scent. Um, I will link the video in the description box right below this one. I will also put a link to where you can shop with Kringle, a discount code, because these candles are not on sale yet. Um, I don't know when they will go on sale, typically based off of previous new release experience. Um, they don't tend to put the newer scents on sale for several weeks after their release. So you can use my 15% discount code. I will leave that information in the description box. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the only way you're gonna get a discount on these right now if you are looking to order them. And um, like I said, again, I do anticipate that these will be included in some sales starting here soon, but um, usually for the first several weeks, they are not put on sale. All right, salt water taffy. I have something really <laughs> kind of interesting, and I would say like borderline gross that's happening with this one on cold sniff. That is not at all happening when it is lit, and it's fascinating to me. By the way, I also have the three wick that I picked up. My three wick candles were delivered the other day. I have not lit this up quite yet, but you can see that the design on the saltwater taffy on the three wick is, um, it's kind of like a nautical like boat style, but it kind of feels like a different vibe to me than the image on the two wick jars. I think I prefer the image on the two wick jars to be totally honest. Looks like Norway to me, to be totally honest. Um, I have a huge like bucket list, like travel type situation that I have in my head and Norway is absolutely on that bucket list of places that I must visit. I've done quite a bit of research on it and I feel like a lot of the homes that are next to the water look very similar to the style of these homes here. Um, I know this is very, like a very artistic rendition of like a seaside town, um, but it just, it screams Norway to me. So I think I'm kind of drawn to this candle because of the label, but also because it smells like saltwater taffy. So um, let's go ahead and get into the description here. Um, I will be lighting up the three wick, by the way. I am filming this on Tuesday. I'm gonna actually light this one up after this video and like compare the two in terms of strength and throw. So in the weekly home fragrance roundup, which by the time you see this video today, will have gone up yesterday, you can definitely reference the weekly home fragrance roundup for an update on how the three wick compared to the two wick. And I will also tell you if I notice that funky weirdness that I'm gonna be talking about here in a second. All right, so saltwater taffy, again, available in the two wick tumbler, large and medium jars, the three wick that you see here, the daylight, and the wax melts are now live. I'm gonna be placing an order for some wax melts here soon. And um, yeah, very excited to get the wax melts in this particular scent because, oh, I love the smell. I'm a huge sucker for saltwater taffy. When we go to the beach here in Oregon, Craig and I always stop into you know, at least a several of the saltwater taffy shops. Um, some of our favorites are in Cannon Beach and Seaside. And um, I just, I love saltwater taffy. It's kind of like a nice basic candy. And this scent I think mimics it really well, but it's just delicious. Like this is a very mouthwatering scent. So let's go ahead and read through the scent description, talk about the fragrance notes, and then um, we'll talk about strength and throw and the funky issue. All right. Scrumptious notes of creamy smooth taffy layer with sweet essences of gourmet, gourmet vanilla, tangy strawberry, luscious pink berry, and pure cane sugar joined by a dash of sparkling sea salt. The top notes are sugar and vanilla. The mid notes are strawberry and sea salt. The base is fruit and sweet. So, um, this is, a, 
Obviously saltwater taffy can come in a multitude of flavors like there's root beer, there's banana, there's raspberry, there's chocolate, there's peanut butter. Um, I'm kind of glad that they opted to go with the strawberry because I feel like that is probably one of the more popular flavors of saltwater taffy. And this is very much like that kind of artificial strawberry scent. But to me, taffy has that artificial strawberry scent. So I feel like this is very true to the actual candy itself overall. I didn't expect this to have like a super authentic, like juicy, ripe, middle of summer strawberry type note. I expected that artificial candied strawberry and you will find that in here for sure. You do get that kind of nice vanilla base that the strawberry is mixed into. It almost leans borderline like strawberries and cream in a way, but not entirely. Um, but the vanilla is definitely there. Um, it is a sweet scent, but I wouldn't consider it like overly cloyingly sweet. If you have ever had strawberry saltwater taffy, that is what this candle smells like. Now, is it a super exotic or like unique, like you've never smelled anything like this type of scent? No, because like I said, if you've had strawberry saltwater taffy, you've literally already smelled this candle. It is very accurate to the real life candy. So in that respect, this candle is wonderful. It's very authentic and it is giving me the exact saltwater taffy experience that I have when I'm eating it at the beach. You can even kind of almost smell that like salty ocean air, although um, that's not super prominent. Um, it's like way in the background. And it might be more like a subliminal type of thing where, you know, like when I eat taffy, like I don't buy taffy at the store, it's sold at my Fred Meyer, but I never buy it there because it just doesn't feel right to eat it, you know, when I'm hanging out in like the Portland area. <laughs> like, but when I go to the Oregon beach, like absolutely, like uh, that is what I want to experience there. And with that comes that beachy, salty ocean air type of vibe. And I do get that in here for sure. Let's talk about the funky thing though. You guys, when this candle is not lit, um, and it's weird because before I burned it, this smelled almost exactly on cold sniff, like it smells burning. But after subsequent burns, when I blow this out and I smell the wax after it hardens, it smells so like oddly tangy and sour and not sour in a good way, like spoiled sour, almost like a like spoiled milk in a way. It's really bizarre and I have never had this experience with a Kringle soy candle. I've never had it turn on me. Now, again, the crazy thing is when I light it, it goes back to smelling like that delicious, um, authentic strawberry taffy. I'm thankful, I'm very thankful it does not smell sour when I light it, but it is baffling to me that it smells so bad on cold sniff after I blow it out. Like, I don't even wanna stick my nose in it, it's so bad. And it's even more bizarre to me that it, that it doesn't smell like that when it's burning during these subsequent burns. It goes right back like I said, to that saltwater taffy. If you have this one, will you please go stick your nose in it? Of course, you will have had to have burned it. But will you tell me if you get this weird, funky, sour, like just almost like borderline rotten milk type of note? It is really strange to me and I have no idea why it's happening. I would love 
if there are any like candle science nerds out there, please explain this phenomenon to me because I'm not a fan. I am very curious to see if it happens with the three wicks as well. So I'll update you guys because right now on cold sniff, this one, so good. Like basically just salt water taffy. That smells so good. <laughs> But I would not at all want to stick my nose in this after I, after I blow it out. It's just, it's going to stink. Strength and throw. Let's discuss. So this one here, I wish was giving me a little bit more in the two wick tumbler, which is why I decided to order the three wick. In general, what I have noticed is that the three wick versions of the two wick jars are stronger in terms of strength and throw. You are getting a larger surface area and you are getting more wicks. That is going to result in more strength and throw, at least based on my experience. So um, I'm hoping to get more out of this than what I'm getting out of here because the strength of this one is only about a five. So not giving me as much as I would like to be totally honest. The throw is also kind of around a five. Now, I have also tried this in both a candle sleeve and a hurricane. It does a little bit better there. I might bump it up to a six in a hurricane type situation. But even that, like, I want more out of this scent. Um, like, this is the type of scent that I would want a strength and throw of about an eight. I'm hoping I can get to a seven with the three wick. But if Kringle decides to go this route of the larger four wick, more like luxury style jar, um, I'm guessing that that will probably give me like the ideal strength and throw for this particular scent. So I'll be curious to see if they choose to go that route. Um, but yeah, uh, strength and throw on this one, definitely not where I would like it to be in the two wick tumbler. So I would say if you are someone who is more sensitive to fragrance and you don't want something that is going to smack you in the face, stick with these two wick tumblers and I will let you guys know on Saturday um, or yesterday. It's so weird like talking about when things are going up on my channel um, because I haven't even recorded Saturday's video yet. So but yeah, check back on the Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup for any updates here. Um, I, I'm still going to give this scent a big fat thumbs up. The performance, I'm going to put in the, uh, I really would like to see some more. But it might be that I just needed the three wick to get what I wanted um, versus the two wick. So there's a lot of you that have been, by the way, mentioning that the two wick tumblers are your favorite that the strength and throw of these are really more ideal for you because you live in a smaller home or you just don't like that much fragrance. I, I would really think that long term, I don't imagine that Kringle will get rid of the large two wick tumbler. I bet they will keep that around because that's a very classic style and design for them that they've had for years. Um, I could see them doing away with basically just all the medium jars because I don't know, the price point isn't that different. And I think most people are probably buying the large jars anyway. So, um, yeah, I could see them doing away with the medium jars and then introducing possibly a four wick option along with this three wick. But I, I don't think they're going to get away from these. Um, but you know, I don't know that for sure, but a lot of you have that fear. I just, I would say it's probably not worth really worrying about right now. I just, I can't imagine them getting rid of like something that is very, I would say almost sentimental to the brand. Uh, because even back in the day, the first time that I tried Kringle, I think it was 2015, when I really did not care for them because they were using paraffin in these jars. Um, you know they were using these exact same jars and they're beautiful like i just i love the design of them but strength and throw hmm, i prefer the strength and throw of these three wick soys so anyway those are my thoughts please leave your thoughts in the description box down below also i'm going to start asking people to also leave information about the style of their house i think that that is very helpful for other people reading through reviews in terms of 
maybe your house is not like mine. I live, like I said, in an early 2000s open concept, you know, like the downstairs is just kind of like wide open type of space. So my experience is going to be different than someone who lives in a older style home where the ceilings are lower. Like our ceilings here, I'm going to see if I can, can you guys see how high our ceilings are? Like check that out. They are high. So I bet there's a lot of fragrance that travels up there. Um, in fact, I know there is because the top of the stairs here, any candle that I burn in this spot immediately like travels up to the upstairs hallway. And if I'm looking to fragrance that hallway, I light a candle right here and that airflow just goes whoosh and carries it right upstairs. But I mean, you can see like, I mean, I can smell it up there because the ceilings are lower, but in this area here, probably most of the scent just goes straight up. So anyway, I think the style of the home really makes a huge difference. So please be sure to leave that in the information when you leave your experience in the comments. So, all right, you guys, thanks for taking the time to watch today. I hope these reviews for help were helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful to you. It definitely helps the old YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you are new and um, I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday and I will see you with more home fragrance content next week. Take care. Tiddaloo.